Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech. In today's video, I want to talk about some new features available using 3D Touch on iOS 10. In this video, I will be using an iPhone 6S, but everything obviously applies to the 6S Plus as well. Now, as you know, only the iPhone 6S and the 6S Plus currently offer the pressure sensitive screen that makes 3D Touch gestures possible. And of course, iPhone 7 will have it too. In any case, with iOS 10, Apple has added more uses for 3D Touch. So let's take a look at all of them one by one. All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about is some 3D Touch functions that you can perform on notifications. So let's uh, pull down the notifications center and you can see that I have three notifications. We have a phone call, a missed phone call, we have a text message, and something from the news application. So what you can do in iOS 10, you can perform a 3D touch, which is basically a firm press on the screen, and that's gonna give you different options based on the kind of notification that you receive. So in this case, I have the option to dismiss it, or I can simply click X on the top, which is going to be the same thing. So let's dismiss this. And with the text message application, what you can do is you can press and hold again, and you can actually respond to this text message right here and right now after you do a 3D touch on it. And of course, when you are done with uh, having your conversation, you can click X and that will go away. And then again, we have a missed phone call. So let's tap and hold and see what kind of options we get here. And over here, as you can see, what I can do is I can send a message or I can do a call back or I can dismiss it by pressing the X on the top. Fantastic. And of course, one more thing you can do in the notifications panel is if you pull it down, if you have tons and tons and tons of notifications and you want to get rid of all of them, all you have to do is press and hold that X icon here and that's going to bring up a menu and that's going to allow you to clear all the notifications. Now here's one of my favorites. When you pull down the control center from the bottom, what you can do is you can perform 3D touch on the icons on the bottom. So you get the flashlight, the clock, the calculator and the camera. So now you can in fact 3D press on these guys and you get the option. With the flashlight you can do a low intensity flash, you can do a medium intensity flash or you can do a high intensity flash and if you do a normal press you can just shut it off. Uh, with the clock if you press and hold, that's a timer, I'm sorry, with the timer what you can do is you can set a timer for one hour, 20 minutes, five minutes or one minute. So if I tap on this it launches the timer and actually starts a countdown immediately. So that's fantastic. And on the calculator icon, if you press, do a 3D press, it allows you to copy the last result that you did a calculation for, okay? And finally, if you do a press, a 3D press on the camera, you get all the regular options, take photo, record slow motion video, record videos, and take a selfie. All right, so let's take a look at the next feature. Uh, as you know, as of now, what you can do is you can press on icons, you can do a 3D press and it brings up a menu. With iOS 10, it actually gets enhanced a little bit further. So what you can do is, for example, let's take a look at the weather application over here. If I do a press, a 3D touch on this, it's actually going to give me a preview card on the top with some basic information. And at the bottom, I get all the other usual options. On top of that, if I have an application that I downloaded from the App Store, and if I press and hold on that thing, it's going to bring up a menu that says share and if I tap the share button it's going to allow me to share that application with anybody uh, using one of these communication mediums could be messages mail notes Twitter whatever so you get the point so that's going to be an option on any app so as you can see in addition to the usual options you do get you also get that share button always so you can share any app using 3D Touch with your friends, family, or buddies. And of course, you can now perform 3D Touch on folders. In iOS 9 previously, there was no functionality of 3D Touch on folders. Now in iOS 10, if you do the 3D Touch press, it's gonna allow you to rename a folder. So the menu comes up, you can tap on it, and it's quickly gonna bring uh, the keyboard from where you can change the name of the folder. Now there are some functions that you can also access using 3D Touch in the music application. So let's launch the application and uh, let's just uh, pick a random album here. Let's just go with this one. 
If you do a 3D touch on this, it actually brings up a menu that gives you a lot of options. Already, you can download, you can create, uh, delete from library, you can add this song to a playlist or the album, and you have all these other options. Okay, so this is possible using 3D touch on iOS 9. All it did was it gave you a preview of the album. And if you pressed even deeper, it actually popped the album. But in this case, you get all these nice options. Now, there are some functions you can access using 3D Touch presses in the Messages application. So if you launch the Messages application, now let's say that you want to say hi to somebody, but you want to say it in a special way with a certain gesture. What you can do is you can press on that blue arrow that points upwards, which means send. You can do a 3D touch on that thing, and it's going to give you various options to send your text message in a different way. It's only possible using 3D touch. So let's do a 3D touch. And as you can see, you have all these options. So you can press this guy over here, and you can slam your response. You can press this. And that's a gentle response. And you can do these other things over here. And if you go over to the screen side, you have these options to send balloons, um, celebration, disco lightning, fireworks, and a shooting star. Again, you can bring this thing up using 3D touch. So you go to the messages, you type up your response, you do a 3D touch, and that's going to bring up the menu and you can switch back and forth right over here. Okay, so that's all the new 3D touch features that iOS 10 has given us. Now, if you want to learn more about iOS 10, I'm going to leave a link in the description to two other videos. One of them talks in depth about the messages application. It shows you all the new features and the other one just gives you a general overview of everything. But in this video, I just want to go over and talk about all the new 3D touch enhancements. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day. Now do make sure that you subscribe to Saki Tech, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you the next time.